Like, what do you think is the most important thing for you to be doing with your work? Like, when you're creating, would you say it's more getting your message out there, um, having kind of a magnum opus of a project that you can look at from all angles, say, hey, this is amazing or something? Like, what, what do you think is the most important aspect of creating for you? I'm always trying to communicate something. And it's, I have a really clear idea. So as an example, um, my most recent game that was just me is called To Be With You. And spoilers for the game, but it is a like short one hour, essentially horror visual novel about a woman who gets into an abusive relationship with her partner. And it's Interesting. just an exploration of how a relationship turns unhealthy and if you if you play through the game once there is a director's commentary where you go back and you replay it and i like highlight p moments where like manipulation is occurring and i explain how it's occurring and like why the characters are responding in this way and that was like i really wanted people to understand the feeling of being in an abusive relationship and like understanding how gradually it gets there and what happens to somebody's mind as they're in sure. it so that hopefully <laughs> there are people out there who could play that game and like gain the insight without having to literally live through it like <laughs> right. live through it in a safe environment and uh, to be real with you like there's been a lot of people who've played the game and a lot of uh, abuse survivors who've played the game and like end up really shaken afterwards because of how evocative yeah. and accurate they feel it is right and um. it's it's kind of different than than movies too because video games is such an interactive media that you can't help but feel a more personal attachment to the story that you're living you know so i imagine yeah. like i don't know i think there's something very beautiful about using video games as a medium to share a message because you have that interactivity you have that personal note to it that you don't exactly have with other mediums I really believe that games are like the number one way that we can teach people like life, essentially teach people wisdom, teach them life mm -hmm. lessons without having to put them through the pain <laughs> of like what we went through. So the game, yeah. like just heads up, the game is really like rough to, to play through, but like everybody who's played it so far, I haven't received any negative reviews. Everybody's been very positive about it and saying sure. that it's very helpful yeah. so ultimately i view all games in that way where they're direct experiences where you can make somebody feel a certain way and expand like their lived experience without them literally having to live the experience right right yeah and it's it's so interesting because games also are extremely accessible to the point where you can deliver these kind of experiences to a very wide range of people, you know, especially every day, more and more people are getting more interested in games that it feels like the perfect medium to, to broaden people's understandings about certain situations just through literally putting them in those shoes, the shoes of those people, you know? Uh, so yeah, mm -hmm. I, I think that's, I think that's awesome, an awesome way to approach game design or whatnot. And, um, <laughs> I know like this this is going to sound pretty normy probably but uh, coming from a, an indie developer or talking to an indie developer but uh one of the first games that i really felt like i was in the shoes of another people and it kind of broadened my understanding of how games could deliver a message was undertale which it feels weird me even saying because <laughs> i understand that's such a normal response but i you know the game really made me approach my thought process on games differently because of the way it was able to make me care so much about characters around me and and understanding other people and other perspectives better because of that game so i i definitely think there's a lot of power to be had with interactive an interactive medium such as video games and, and sharing stories and broadening people's understanding of things so just to kind of uh go back around to what we were originally talking about would you say that's the most important thing then is is being able to deliver your message or as you say give wisdom through interactive mediums yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. that's that's my jam. <laughs> awesome. Hey there. You just watched a clip from my creative podcast. If you'd like to check out the full episode as well as other episodes as soon as they come out, you can support me over on Patreon for the $3 tier, or you can just subscribe here and wait for clips and podcast episodes to come out eventually.